Bonjour, oui, oui, I'm in Paris. <laughs> oh my God, I'm in Paris and my birthday trip has been so amazing. Um, we have one more stop, <clears throat> but right now I'm in Paris. I'm filming, my view is amazing. Well, I say my view is amazing, I actually see like another building, but like just to be in Paris, it's, it's like a dream. I want to apologize for the raspy voice. I lost my voice like two or three days ago. I think I caught like a, a head cold or something like sinus or whatever. I felt very congested in this area. So I've been taking um, like some kind of syrup they have here in France, um, similar to like NyQuil. And then I've been drinking lots of honey, tea, and ginger. And um, that's what I've been doing. So I have been kind of like a little under the weather surprisingly i do not feel sick i don't feel alone energy i just um my voice was completely gone and i had like so much mucus i was coughing up so i know what it is <clears throat> so i do apologize for the raspy voice so i'm really excited to do uh to share with you guys this unboxing um video of what i got for my birthday uh thank you baby because honestly like when I tell you, he he really like went all out for my birthday. He did, and um, I have a story time. And I I know you guys are like, I want to see what you got, but I have to share this story with you as I unbox because I feel like I am living a dream, and I wish this for all of my girls that listen, uh, that follow me, <clears throat> or for anyone doesn't matter like what race you are. But I just I wish this for everyone to be adored, loved, cherished, valued, and spoiled, <laughs> um, you know what I mean? So to get like the things that you desire and you know your partner um, enjoy doing that for you. So without further uh, waiting, let's get into the unboxing. So I'm going to start with the smallest box and I think the first purchase that I purchased on this trip. Uh, let me grab it. Okay, so in the US, Chanel lipsticks are like impossible to get every color that i wear it's always sold out the one, number one color i really really want on this trip was called darling pink and it is it, it was sold out even here in paris so you want to make sure when you're shopping international that you get a tax that tax thing because when you go to the airport they um you can get your your tax back which is amazing that's why i love shopping in europe um, because you can uh, save money. So I stocked up on my favorite lipsticks from Chanel. <clears throat> and these are it. They did not have the Darling Pink sad, unfortunately. But I got Shock and Pink, which is so pretty. I love Shock and Pink. And... Um, I got, what color is this, Bright Raspberry. This is such a pretty, pretty color, Bright Raspberry. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> Come on in, baby. And I got Darlin Red. This is a beautiful, like, rouge. And then I also got <clears throat> Sensual Rose, which is so pretty. It's very, like, nice. It's like a, like, a rosy pink. And then I also got Light Rose. Um, it's somewhere over there. But, like, I'll just, like, insert, like, pictures or I'll try to put in the description like each shade I got. Um, so in the US, the prices are slightly a little bit different. Um, so in the in France, um, they were 45 euros each, but you get like your tax back, so which is really great. Um, <clears throat> so you do save money when you shop in Paris. So that was that. All right, so let's now move on to what else oh let's move on to Louis Vuitton so this is a big box everything in here is not mine I'm just gonna share with you the one thing I got from Louis Vuitton okay so this is the packaging cute right I don't know if I'm gonna keep the box because I have no room um 
How cute is this? My second, actually this is my second purchase from Louis Vuitton. I have a pair of shoes, they're so cute. And now if you probably know what this box is, you know what it is. So I got these cute glasses that I saw and I was like, oh, I want some new glasses. And they are pretty, like how gorgeous are these? They have gold trim and then look at the side details. You see that? It's pearls. And it has like the Louis Vuitton uh, LV on it. Cute. Cute. See how they look? Ooh, bougie. <laughs> okay, so these are super cute. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I got from LV, me personally. And then I may show you what we got for family. Um, because we're not taking the box back, so I don't think they would mind if I unboxed it because we're not taking um, their boxes back. It's just too much to, like, carry around. So, this is their packaging. It's cute, cute. It's the same thing. They got the same thing, so I'll just show you one. So, all right. All right, so this is the LV cute little cross body bag. This is how it looks on one side. This is how it looks on the other side. I don't know the style because I don't really own anything Louis Vuitton, like, purse-wise. But it's actually cute. Like, I'm not of the line. We skipped the line, thank God. We had, like, a connection. <laughs> we skipped the line. But, yeah, super cute. I'll keep the dust back for them because this will protect their purse while traveling. But the boxes, we're going to have to throw away. We don't have any room for boxes. So, same thing. So, I'm not going to unbox the second one. Let's get into the good stuff. <laughs> All right. So, this was our first. Actually, I take the back. This wasn't our first purchase from Hermes. This was our second purchase from Hermes at a different flagship store. But I'll start with the smallest, like, items. So... We both got bracelets. He wanted matching ones, but I was like, ooh, yours is too, like, masculine. Like, it's for a man. <laughs> so I'll show you his. I think this one is his, yeah. So he got this one. It's actually super cute. I like it on him. It's really easy to, um, to put on. You just undo that. I'll insert, like, a video of me with it on me, but that's super cute. I like it because... We know this is Hermes, but like it's not too like gaudy, you know what I mean? Like it's simple and nice. So cute little packaging. All right, and then show you guys my bracelet. I'll insert like a little shot video of me unboxing this <clears throat> and it actually on me. I don't know the name of this one, but I never seen this one before. I love it, super cute. It's very feminine and it's rose gold, which matches my my cleave watch but look how cute this is and it's like a really soft pink it's like a rosy pink i think this is so adorable so cute so we got bracelets he was like anything to help increase your chance of getting your dream bag i was like yeah all right so that's the smallest right uh all right so next hermes <laughs> I already kind of did an unboxing on my phone for TikTok, so I don't have like the, the what you call it, the ribbon on. So kind of make this quick too. I got a scarf, and the way she tied it in the store was so beautiful. I I was like, oh my god, baby, please remember how she tied it because I am not good at tying scarves. But this print is so beautiful, and he picked this out for me. He was like, this color is so you. It's bright it's fun it's you know it's vibrant it definitely is so pretty on um i love it <clears throat> i think it's very nice the pattern it's so cute it has different colors like orange pink green white yellow blue it's really really nice it's very nice i like how she tied it on my neck and i thought this was really really nice so i will definitely do like a styling video with this later for you guys or i may insert like a, a clip on the side um and see if he can tie it on me so you guys can see all right so 
These purchases were made on separate days, by the way. Um, a little story time. So the first, so this is the first purchase we made from the Hermes store on George, the George the Fifth, I think, uh, location. We were just walking to see how far it was from our hotel. It was, it's literally a five minute drive, but like probably like a 10, 15 minute walk, depending on how fast you walk. And it was like six o'clock, the store closed at 6.30. There was a little short line, but we got in and we had honestly no intention of like shopping. We were just trying to see how far it was walking. And um, he was like, can we get her a bag? And it was like, I'm sorry, you know, the last um, time, to get a leather good appointment was at six o'clock and we got in the store around 6 15 so there was like come back another day you know so we were like okay we, we were unbothered by it because like i said we had no intentions of like buying it that day if we got offered but we were just trying to see like how far it was from the store so i got this and the scarf these are so cute this color is new i don't remember the name i'll try to insert like the name here but I think it's so cute. I think it goes perfect with this scarf. How I'm gonna style it on and wear it. But these are the Arans in Epson leather. And this color pink is so soft, it's so pretty. I love the Aran sandals. Um, in Epson leather, I do tend to size half down because they do expand. I got these in a 37 and a half. You know, after you're breaking them in, they will expand, so keep that in mind. And yeah, they're very comfy. I'm very happy with my purchase. And thank you um, for helping me that day, my essay, because now this story is gonna make sense to you. So, a little story time. <clears throat> I did get my dream bag. <laughs> I did get my dream bag. And let me share how I got it, okay? My man, my man, my man, my man, my man, Santana. You know that little TikTok uh, trend audio? We need to insert that here. My man. Santana always <laughs> and my man because he did it all by himself so thank you honey i appreciate you i love you i'm so grateful that you like got me my dream bag so anyway that day the first day we went to hermes all the other locations are closed on a monday this location only opens on a monday and they had other essays pulled from the other store to work this location to help out the lady who assisted us that day, I'm not gonna say her name, just confidentiality, my essay, she worked at the bigger location. And so he was bold and was like, hey, I wanna get her a purse, how do I get one? And she was like, oh, you know, um, you have to have an appointment and you know, da, da 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 that stuff, right? So he's like, okay. He was like, so does that mean we can't shop for other stuff? She was like, no, you can still shop for other stuff. It's just, you can't, you know, how the bag system works so we're like okay let's look around so that's where we got the Aran sandals and the scarf that day so I said to her I said you know what would be really cool if we because we've been trying online uh the past two or three days prior to being in um Paris to, we've been trying online applying online but it was like sorry uh there's no appointments available try again I was like I told my essay I said you know it'd be really really funny is that we get a we get an appointment and you happen to be our essay assigned appointment because it's a lottery system. You don't know who's gonna be assigned to you for your leather good appointment. And she was like, ha 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 ha, that would be funny if I'm assigned to you, right? Keyword, uh, keep in mind, she didn't work at the George location. She was helping out that location because the other locations are closed on Monday. Only that location is closed, open on a Monday. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice is raspy. So that was like, um, you know, probably like a, a month. Yeah, that was a Monday. So Wednesday, we come in, we go into the bigger location. And we ask to get a leather good appointment. And prior, there was a lady standing in front of us. She was kind of like in a little conflict with the person at the desk about getting a leather good appointment I can tell she was irritated that she couldn't get one and the lady kept saying I'm sorry you have to try online so when we stepped up I was like fingers crossed that we got one because I saw how the lady in front of us was like irritated she couldn't get one so he steps to the side he talks to the person in charge of the appointments and he was like we've been applying online I would like to get her purse you know can you help me and she was like, how long are you in town? 
and I was like, well, tomorrow's my birthday and we're in town, you know, until, you know, we're here for a week. She's like, okay, what kind of person would you like? So I told her, you know, the size, the color I was looking for and I was open to any hardware. Very flexible. And she's like, okay, how about Friday? Can you come Friday at one? I was like, yeah. So she schedules us down and I'm like freaking out because I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, my dreams are about to come true. <laughs> like, oh my God. I mean, my dreams already been coming true, but like, oh my God, to walk in and, you know, he did this all his own. Like he was bold. He didn't beat around the bush. He was, he's not a BSer, by the way. He gets straight, he asks the question. He doesn't BS, he gets straight to the point. So anyway, we get our appointment by walking in. We don't get our appointment by online. We happen to just strike gold that day. So <clears throat> we come back to our appointments. The day of our appointment, I'll start unboxing. So I'm not gonna unbox this because these are already on my handbag. <laughs> so um, the day of our appointment, I'll start unboxing. I got the bubble guts. Like my stomach is like, oh my, it's like, like nerves because I'm like oh my god oh my god like this is what I've seen you know I've been watching videos I've, I've been watching people this is what is happening and so um we get it we get an uber we arrive to our appointment literally like four minutes before one and we walk in and we go to the desk and we say hey we're here for appointment so she sends us upstairs and we sit we get off our drinks and we sit down we we go up to the waiting area we're waiting for like 30 minutes and people are walking up to the top floor where we're at and some of them you can tell they don't have an appointment but they're just like trying to figure out how they can get one and then there's a couple that are sitting at a desk on the opposite side and they're being shown their back and um i saw like one walk out with a white bag over her her bag and I could tell she got one but there was these other ladies that they were they kept looking at us I can tell they were trying to figure out if we got an appointment or not so um people do watch <laughs> so anyway I'm nervous because I'm like thinking in my head like oh my god like I don't know what's gonna happen and um okay let me let me let me okay so I get very quiet and I just start like thanking God, like mentally, like in my mind, I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you, because I'm here, right? In the store, I'm here. So people, essays are walking up and down the stairs, but no one's coming to us. So we don't know who's our assigned essay, right? Finally, a familiar face walks up the steps and I turn around and I burst out and remind you, my voice is gone because I'm still recovering, but my voice at that time was really gone. I bust out almost in tears and I grab her, I hug her. It's the same essay from the other store that was assigned at the other store because that store is closed on Mondays, helping us. It's the same essay who we shop with. I could not believe it. I was like, oh my God, I literally like grabbed her, hugged her. And we just, we had like a moment we had a moment because we both was like, what are the odds? What are the odds? There are 300 employees that work at this location. What are the odds that she's assigned to us? What are the odds? So without waiting, I know you guys are wondering what's in this box. Before I show you, guess in the comments, what do you think I got? A Kelly or a Perkin? What size do you think I got? And what color? So take a moment. All right, <laughs> so let's unbox. So anyway, she asked me what I'm looking for and she goes in her little system and then she's like, okay, I'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes. So she goes, she comes back, she grabs us and take us to our private room. Guys, I was starstruck. I don't have any video footage of her unboxing this. I, I, I like, I usually film things like this. In this moment, I was starstruck. I didn't even have a phone. I took one sneaky video and one sneaky picture of her like after, like after the fact. I'll insert it here. But here we are. But he already knows. I already told him a million times, but I'm going to tell him again. Thank you, honey. I appreciate 
you making this happen on my birthday first trip to Paris I really appreciate it I love you and I'm so happy that you got me my dream bag like it's so perfect so <clears throat> all right guys okay you can kind of probably tell that this is a smaller bag so I'll go ahead and tell you this is a 25 and she is a Birkin 25 in Epson Cellier leather with palladium hardware and the stitching is on the outside. I did read somewhere on the internet, I think on Purse Bot <clears throat> blog, that this was going to be no longer available unless it's a special order. Let me know in the comments. Can you guys confirm that? I don't know um, when that takes effect, but I got this purse on, uh, you know, now, you know, obviously this trip. And I saw that blog post like maybe a couple of months ago. I don't know. It may not have been that long. But anyway, let me know in the comments. I don't know if this is something that's going to be like highly sought out after because of like the exclusive of trying to get this particular shape and model. So anyway, this is how she looks on the side. So cute. And my lovely, lovely essay. She already had the toolies on. So that's why I didn't unbox these. <laughs> So I got these beautiful Tweelies. They're so cute, they're gorgeous. They are reversible. So you can have like this beautiful like nude pink. I feel like it's perfect for these shoes right here if I wanna reverse it. Um, or like this pretty like, like pink, so I love that. And it does have like some blues peeking through. Um, a little lime green, a little orange. It's very, like subtle but still like you can tell like it's like uh you know pink you know what I mean like it's subtle but still like it it shows so this I feel like is perfect for me because I am petite and <clears throat> again I apologize for my raspy voice I am petite I'm five foot three um and I weigh like 130 so the Birkin 35 that I do have, you guys saw that when I unboxed it last year, that was um, that was pre-owned, so it wasn't brand new. That is a humongous bag, and the more you add in it, it gets heavier. It's perfect for traveling, but I just feel like, realistically, it's not a practical everyday use bag. I feel like this is a practical everyday use bag. It is something that I can wear daily I can really wear this in the daytime or the evening because of the size of it and let's go ahead and take um, this off oh my god I can't believe I'm doing this Wow. <clears throat> I don't know how long I'm gonna leave the stickers on though so let's see oh, there we go I got it off all right Let's open her up. And like I said, guys, this is my first time actually touching this bag, smelling the leather, um, because I was starstruck. I honestly was starstruck. So <clears throat> the thing, the reason why I chose Epsom leather and um, this neutral like color, this is, I believe she called this gray in the store, is because I wanted a bag that could go with everything and also didn't want to have to worry about scratches and I wanted something that was a little bit more structure and smaller and I feel like this is the perfect perfect bag for me so <clears throat> there we go how gorgeous is she how gorgeous so you can leave this kind of like open like that or you can kind of put the inside the little glass right there so cute how cute is that? And then open her up. This is how she looks on the inside, guys. So it comes with the cute uh, lock. The cliche. Oh, thingy. I don't think I'm going to put this on the purse, but just to show you guys for perspective. I'm not going to put her on just yet, but this is how it would look. You know, like that. So I don't think I'm going to put her on right now. Um, 
but this is how it looks. The sticker is still on. So put her away, store her away. So the inside, this is how she looks. Got the pocket here. And then she's very structured, very structured. I like this because, <clears throat> okay. As you can see, wow, this is brand new. <laughs> wow, I'm like touching this. Wow, this is brand new. So anyway, I like the structure of this because I feel like this purse will keep its shape. So I love that this um, style will keep its shape because I feel like because of the size, it's a Parkin 25 and the leather Epson Salier, it's just gonna hold its shape and I love that. I don't have to worry about it kind of getting like flimsy or whatever if that makes sense to you guys so yeah and there she is oh and we have one more box to open up let me just tell you guys it gets better and better so all right one more box to open up <clears throat> i know this is a long unboxing video but if you're still here to the very end thank you so much don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video give me a thumbs up so let's unbox this baby so this is something every Birkin girl needs to go with her purse, right? I didn't even know Hermes, excuse me, I didn't even know Hermes sold these. I honestly did not know that. And I don't know if it's because you don't see many people doing unboxing with these. You see them take, you see them using like the other brands that make them for Birkins, right? So this is the... Oh, what is the name of this? I'm going to put the name here. I forgot the name of this. So anyway, this is the cover for it, the dust bag. But look at this. How cute is this? This is to protect your bag. It's like an insert. It's like an organizer, right? I have one for the 35, and it's made out of like a thick, thick material. It's heavy, so it makes the bag even more heavier. This is so light. And this is like made out of their the same material that their um, dust bags are made out of. This is so cute. Look at the side of it. Okay. Cute. All right. Now, the back of it has a pocket, which I love. Because if you want to put like maybe your card holder or something here or like tampon, something small and snap it up, that's perfect. Okay. And then look at the space, it's spacious. And then on the back, oh, I thought you could unbutton. Okay, you can. It's it's individual though. There's two more pockets on the back. <clears throat> I would put like maybe phone or keys on that side or whatever. So it's very spacious. And I don't know if these come in, in multiple sizes for each size of like a Birkin. I don't know if these fits in Kelly's, but I just know that I was asking her, I said, what is that small box over there? Because I thought she brought me maybe two bags, like a, like, I don't know. I thought maybe like a Kelly and a Bergen, right? And I was like, what is that little small box over there? She was like, oh, this is, you know, the name she called it. I'll put it here. I apologize. I don't know how to pronounce the name of it. And I just learned that they actually have it. So <clears throat> I like this. So I'm going to put this inside my bag. You definitely want to protect your handbags, ladies. This is a very, very light color. You have to... Be cautious when you're wearing light colors because um, when you're carrying light color handbags because if you're wearing something dark you can transfer that color onto your handbag and then you have to take it to the spa and that's additional like time and resources that you honestly don't want to go through so when you um, buy a handbag like this you want to get an insert for your handbag so you know when you have like your lipsticks in your bag or your blushes or maybe it could just be whatever you're not worrying about it messing up your handbag. You're not like on edge. You're not afraid to use your new handbag. So <clears throat> I'm putting this in here now. So this fits perfect. That's how it looks in. Side. 
if it's perfect. So now I can put like a lipstick in here and not worry about it like spilling, messing it up, you know? Also, I think you can wash this, you know? Like if this gets dirty, like the insert, the liner, if it gets dirty, I'm pretty sure you can wash it. So I'm not worried about it. Um, like my perfume or whatever, I can put inside here. My phone, I can put inside here. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I got for my birthday. So, thank you, baby. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think of my new baby. She is gorgeous. Also, also, I need a name. What should we name her? What should we name her? Like, I have a name in mind, but I wonder, is it too cheesy? Since I'm in Paris, <clears throat> and this is my first time in Paris, my first offered bag ever because I bought my first one at a secondhand store so it wasn't brand new and it, you know it was offered this was offered to me um I'm thinking about calling her Paris because you know what maybe that's what I'll do I can symbolize this as like this is Paris meet Paris and she is from Paris and she was offered to me in Paris I don't know what do you guys think you think it's too cheesy should I name her Paris I like the name Paris. If you think of a different name, let me know in the comments. Um, we have a we have some time until like we make her the official name. But I'm thinking Paris. Like meet meet Paris. Oh, also this. I mean, I can fit this with my wrist because my wrist is small. But I would really just tote this in my hand like this. Um, so that is another thing too. Since it is a 25, the handles are not as big as the 30 or 35. So it depending on the size of your wrist, maybe you can fit your wrist through here and carry it like this, or just carry it like this, which I am going to anyway. So thank God for Twilies. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the birthday wishes that you guys wished me on Instagram. And yeah, so thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions on how to um, maybe style any of these pieces that I share with you guys, or if you just want some maybe tips or advice on how to score Birkin in Paris, like your first time, I'm open to sharing that. I just feel like anything can help. Any advice that's out there that people have been there and done it, I feel like it can help the person that is watching this video. So I wish you your dream bag, whatever that is. And um, thank you so much. I really appreciate all the love and support for watching this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, loves.